deepening refers to techniques that induce realistic perception and awareness in the phase state. Sensory experiences within a fully realized phase experience are as realistic as those in everyday reality. In almost one half of all cases, practitioners observe that reality-based surroundings pale in comparison to vibrant detail and color of the phase space. To this end, after entering a phase, a practitioner must perform deepening techniques to enhance and solidify the degree and quality of phase reality. Full spatial perception in the phase only occurs after deepening techniques have been applied. There would be no point to remaining in the phase without deepening. Deepening is also related to the length of time a practitioner may remain in the phase. There is a direct correlation between the realism of a phase and a practitioner's level of awareness, so it is extremely important to ensure a deep phase in order to promote maximum awareness. 1. Palpation Palpation is the first deepening technique that should be recalled when entering a phase. Vision may be absent at the beginning of a phase experience, but the sensation of occupying a defined space is almost always present. In the case of a completely absent sense of sight, only tactile kinesthetic perception is possible. Palpation is performed by fleetingly touching anything that may be found in the immediate surroundings. This should be done by quickly but carefully perceiving the feel of surfaces and shapes. Hands should not remain on a particular place for more than one second, remaining constantly in motion to locate new objects. The goal of palpation is to touch and also to learn something about encountered objects or shapes. For example, if one feels a mug, one may touch it not only from the outside, but also from the inside. Once a practitioner has rolled out of the body, the bed may be touched, the physical body lying in bed may be touched, as well as the floor, the carpet, nearby walls, or a bedside table. Another palpation technique is performed by rubbing the palms against each other as if trying to warm them on a cold day. Blowing on the palms also produces sensations that will help deepen the face. Since tactile perception of the world is not limited to the palms, the hands should be moved over the entire body while in the phase to excite and fully activate the sense of touch. 2. Peering Peering is the primary technical variation of sensory amplification. Peering should be done at a distance of 4 to 6 inches from objects within the face. A practitioner should glance over the minute details of objects and surfaces to bring definition to the face space while increasing the quality of vision. When looking at hands, the lines of the palm or the fingernail and cuticles should be examined. If observing a wall, study the texture of its wallpaper. When looking at a mug, one should look carefully at its handle, the curve of its rim, or any inscriptions. Attention should not remain on one area of an object for more than half a second. Active observation should constantly move to new objects and their minute details approaching objects or picking them up to draw them nearer. Peering brings quick and clear results. Usually, if vision is blurry and there is a yearning to return into the physical body, with just 3 to 10 seconds of peering all of this will be gone without a trace. All deepening techniques should be practiced with a high level of aggression, with no pauses, only continuous, deliberate action. If techniques are practiced in a calm, relaxed manner, then deepening attempts will most often result in falling asleep or returning to the body.